Hi again, it's Karen Stabley, Registered Art Therapist. Um, I'm here today to talk a little bit about a uh, positive reward system that I use with the parents and children that I work with that really seems to work. And I think it works because it's really um, a, an intense visual reminder that a child is making progress, that they're doing well, um, and it doesn't look ugly in your house like sometimes those behavior charts look hanging on your fridge. These um, I call gumball jars, and essentially they're so easy to make, and I'm going to you know, show you how to make um, two today. Um, but essentially what you need to know about these gumball jars is before you put them into use, the parents and the children or the child who's having the issue with a behavior problem um, have to come up with some goals. You should come up with at least three goals. Um, and you also have to come up with um, what kind of behavior will be rewarded and then what kind of behavior will um, result in a gumball being taken out of the jar. So that all has to be established um, before this gets put into place. Now, sometimes parents can do that on their own. Oftentimes they need help um, of a therapist. Um, maybe if you're seeing a therapist, um, you guys can come up with some goals together. Um, but I know that's a huge component in um, having these be successful because you really want to be clear with the child what they're being rewarded for and what um, they are, a gumball will be taken away from the jar for. And I always start with um, goals that are, will lead to a better connection between um, parent and child. So initially the goal might be 15 minutes later at bedtime depending on the age of the child or an extra book um, or breakfast with a parent or um, maybe um, some other kind of tangible connecting um, activity between a parent and child. That's always the first goal. Um, and then as they're building up um, positive behaviors and they're doing well, then the goals can be more tangible in terms of the stuff that we give our kids. Um, so this is a very, very easy um, kind of thing to put into place. These are jars that you can pick up at the dollar store. This one, um, I think it was a dollar at the dollar store. Um, and the ones I kind of like are a little bit different in shape, and I think this one came from a craft store. But anyway, they're, they're a buck. Um, and then the gumballs, um, I use two different sizes. The larger gumballs are gonna get you to the goal quicker. So depending on what kind of issue is going on, and this is where the therapist can, can help you um, in terms of figuring out, okay, um, one gumball means that um, you did really well, you helped with dinner dishes or, or whatever. And then um, I also use these smaller gumballs. Um, I think these came from Walmart, and I think these are kind of, you can buy them at like Party City or someplace. Um, and, and the fun part is, and there's a other um, kind of way that parents and children can connect because you can really actually use the color of the gumball to signify what they're doing right. Like, you know, the, the orange gumballs mean that you helped with a chore or you completed a chore, and then maybe the blue gumball means that you really kind of calmed yourself down and didn't strike your sibling or, you know, didn't throw something in your room that day. So that all can be worked out. And, I think part of this process and what makes it so powerful and the reason that it does work is because it's a collaboration between parents and children coming together and really figuring out how to make things work in a, in a cooperative way. So all of that stuff needs to happen before you build the gumball jar, which is so simple and so easy. Um, but anyway, so you get a jar and then what I use is this pinstripe um, car pinstriping and they come in two different kind of widths doesn't matter what kind and these are about I don't know three or four bucks it's not a big deal um, so everything is really inexpensive it's really doable so so simple all you do is kind of measure around 
And again, the kids, you know, you want to work, do this with, with your child. You don't want to be, you know, doing this on your own. It has to be meaningful and it has to make sense um, to the child whose behavior it is that you want to change. So all you do, and the first couple times I did this, I put it on really crooked. So I'm not an expert at putting this pinstriping on glass. But I find that it's, it's, I've tried other things like electrical tape and it just doesn't work out quite as well. So, you try to get, <laughs> you try to get it as um, even as you can. Because you don't want to look at it from one angle and say, look, I earned the first goal. And then you look at it at the other angle and it's not even close. So, now, what I do, I, I, this end I kind of left a little open because what you want to do is attach, I like to attach these little tags and the tag will actually have the goal written on it so that everybody remembers that when that child gets enough gumballs up to that line, this will be the goal. And, and it's a visual, again, a great visual reminder. And so as the, as the kid is kind of earning, doing all these great things and earning um, gumballs, and you'll have to decide together um, what constitutes a one gumball and what constitutes a two gumball positive behavior thing, okay? So, that is how simple it is. Let me just put one more one here. And I think it is a little easier with the, um, the straight jar, um, just because this is a little, um, not as straight, I don't know what the word is. So, in the next stripe you might wanna kind of put here. And then again, you leave a little opening here so that you can attach a um, another one of these. positive um, reward things and that kind of went closed too quickly but okay so that's that's the the larger one same thing for the smaller one and you can choose to use the smaller tape or even um, the, the thicker tape but it's kind of like the same deal very simple but the whole time as you're as you're working with these and you're um, you're talking to your child about what kind of goals they want to achieve um, and what's important to them. So you're really listening to what's important to them as well. So this is just how simple it is. And then this jar would be for the smaller gumballs. Okay? And again, you would, might want to decide what, if the colors mean anything, they don't have to mean anything, but maybe really positive behavior constitutes two gumballs in there. Um, and then again, same thing. A couple, you know, maybe an inch or two up, another stripe, and then another stripe, and then attach the little tag so everybody's clear with what the goal is and how they earned um, and how they're gonna earn it. That's it for the gumball jars, um, so join me later for another great idea.